This is a demonstration of a GAT Bluetooth server implemented on the Pi Pico W. The, the hope is that this project might serve as a reasonable starting point for students in the microcontrollers class here at Cornell that are interested in building a Bluetooth interface to their projects. Um, so from a hardware perspective, what we're looking at is a Pi Pico W here on the breadboard. This is communicating over, I'll use my mouse, is communicating over an SPI channel to the DAC here. Uh, and then this DAC communicates through an auxiliary cable into, in our case, into the microphone input of a PC so that we can hear the tones that this is generating through a Zoom call. Uh, the other hardware connection that you're seeing is a connection from these GPIOs over to a VGA connector, which is driving a VGA screen. I'm using a VGA capture card so that we can see what's being shown on that VGA screen here on the right side of the screen. Um, up here at the top, is a serial terminal through these this uh, USB to serial connection right here that allows for me to send strings into the Pi Pico. And then of course a phone, which I'll use to, to connect to the, to the server. And uh, I'll, I'll do a screen recording of that phone so that it's easier to see. Before I do that, what we're looking at on the VGA screen is a representation of the contents of the custom GAT server that's running on this Pico W. So you can see that this server includes one, two, three, four, five, six characteristics. And I'll demonstrate how each of those characteristics are used. So let me just uh, start screen recording on my phone so that this is easier to see. Uh, let me see here. Okay. And I'll turn on click tracking. So if I open up the light blue app, uh, I can connect here to the Pico server. And when I do, it'll show me all of the characteristics that are, um, that are included in this custom GAT server. So you can see that I've given them names that sort of suggest how they're used. The first one is the read-only counter. Second one is DDS frequency, string from the Pico, that is from Pico to my phone, string to Pico from phone to the Pico, LED status and control, which I'll demonstrate in a second, and then color selection, which is going to change the color of this circle here. Um, so let me just show how these are used. So if I go to the read-only counter, I'm going to change from hex to strings. And if I read this a few times, you'll notice that the numbers that I'm reading match that which is displayed on the VGA screen. And I can listen for notifications on this and you can see that each time the number changes on the VGA screen, um, I'm seeing that appear here on my phone. So this is acting almost like a, a Bluetooth printf or something like that. So I'll just stop listening to that for a moment. And then we can go to the next characteristic, which is DDS frequency. Um, there's a, a DDS synthesizer running on the Pico. And I can adjust the tone of that synthesizer here using this characteristic. I have it muted right now so that you can hear me talking, but I'm going to unmute it so that you can hear the tone. And then I'll change the frequency, and you'll see this DDS frequency characteristic change here on the VGA screen. And we should also hear the tone change. So let me just unmute and demo that. And as I do so, you can compare this number to the one that I'm punching in here on my phone. So you can see that the see and hear that the tone is changing as I'm changing that. And you may have noticed too that I can click read here to get the most updated value um, for this characteristic in the server. The next characteristic here is string from Pico. So I can open this up and I'll change to string. And you can see that right now there's no value here. But if I type a string, into this serial terminal, which again is, is communicating over a UART channel to the Pico, I should then see the string appear on my phone. So let me just write something about hello. Oops, I messed up. Hold on. Uh, hello world. And so you can see hello world has appeared here. And if I read again, 
Hello World has appeared here on my phone. For this characteristic too, I can subscribe to notifications. So if I do that, then every time I type a new string in, hi, you can see that it appears here on my phone. Um, the next characteristic is string to Pico. So here, I'll just change again to string. And then if I now type a string in here, you'll see it appear at the string from client to Pico line on the VGA here. So I'll just write a string testing one, two, three. And you can see that that appears here on the VGA screen. Uh, the next characteristic is the LED status and control. You can see that right now, if I read this, it's telling me that the LED is off. And it's a little bit difficult to see in the light, but the onboard LED is, in fact, off here. Um, if I write that to be on, you will see that the LED status changes to on. And you may be able to also see that the LED has, in fact, turned on. And then the last characteristic here is color selection. I'm using a 4-bit VGA driver, which means I can send color values, RGB color values, in the range of 0 to 15. So right now the color selection is 15, which is to say white. Uh, but I could write a new value there. If I write 8, it should turn red. So you can see I made the color selector 8, and this changed to red. Let's just write another one. I don't know. Uh, let's try 5. And it changes to blue. 